Hey, what's happening everybody? It's XMZO here with another video. Today we're going to do one on Maya Dao. More than meets the eye. Alright, so in the world of DeFi, we know that there's a lot of yield farmers. And unfortunately, Maya only gives approximately 20% as we can see here. Which isn't too bad because you get it uh, once a day every epoch, which is around 4 p.m my time i don't know about your time because i don't know what time it is where you're watching this and you're getting it in currently in metas tokens which isn't too bad but if you're just strictly here for yield farming there's a lot of other better options out there but now you'll see why real eyes realize that there's more to my dao than meets the eye and now let me show you why let me give you guys an example so there's this cartoon called Transformers, and I'm talking about the cartoon, not, not the movies. There's this Decepticon called Soundwave, even though all the other Decepticons turned into like jets, tanks, or construction cars that, that turned into an even bigger robot. Uh, unfortunately, Soundwave just turns into a cassette tape. And who even knows what a cassette tape is these days? I'm sure nobody in this day of age knows what a cassette tape is probably doesn't even know what a, a cd player is but the true fans of transformers know that even though soundwave just turns into a cassette tape he is actually extremely important to decepticons you know being one of the most loyal or if not the most loyal to megatron plus he is the communications leader and if you watch the cartoon he is literally behind the scenes doing everything for them. That being said, the true believers, not the disbelievers of Maya, know the real potential of Maya. And that potential is actually coming in Maya V2. So let's check that out. Like it says here in the media, Maya V2, Maya lock staking, you're gonna have to lock it up to a maximum of 16 weeks. But now this gives you a lot more benefits of what you can actually do with it other than just earning that 20%. Uh, pretty much now Maya will turn into VL Maya, like a vote lock Maya, which is kind of like convex of Curve. Approximately Maya owns around 47% of Hermes right now. And so they own around 41 million B Hermes. So that means they get to control that V Hermes and use it to vote and earn all those bribes and trading fees through that. And so now if you have the VL Maya, you now get that power. With that power comes the bribes and the rewards. And so also, so the way the voting works is kind of like how it's already done on the Hermes gauges. But this time it'll be done through a snapshot as we can see here and it'll be done on the typical Thursday 0000 UTC time. Oh, this time it's gonna be held weekly. Ah, that's what I get for reading. This time the votes will be held weekly as we can see here. Remember this, because this is like the one thing that everyone asks about the Midas Marathon. You're not forced to put your Maya into VL Maya because some people don't like having their stuff locked, which is understandable. There's other options. For example, according to the Blockmates article, a user can deposit their Maya tokens into the Vault Strategy, which is typically what is this right here. But they can choose, but they can choose which vault they go to and earn reward. And the cool part, here's the kicker. So depending on the Maya, the VL Maya balance, they will get boosted rewards. And I don't know how high the booster rewards is for Maya, but Hermes is very generous with their booster rewards, giving up to 2.5x on their LPs, if you know how to get that. That's a video for next time. So currently, their vaults right now is USDC, Metis, and Ethereum, or ETH. And that's kind of based on their treasury. We could see that this is their treasury right now. They have a whole bunch of Hermes, uh, ETH, Metis, uh, Tether, and USCC. 
So maybe in the future, there might be more options and you can kind of choose what you want to do. And hopefully the booster rewards is 2.5x. That would be awesome. So then that means you can benefit by not just locking, but also staking your Maya and boat locking for VL Maya. Oh, another thing is currently, this is the way that Maya boats, but now as VL Maya holders, we get to control the boats and we get to control where it goes. So that'd be really something to look forward to. You can see that there's more to Maya than meets the eye. Yes, as a yield farmer right now, Maya is all right, it's decent for what it gives. Wow, from when I started this, now I just went up another 0 0.08, so that's pretty cool. But if you're a G like me, then you already have a bag of Maya while it's cheap. You already know. Yeah, I would really consider looking into Maya. I know it's very, it's not really a popular or well talked about project because from the untrained eye, it doesn't seem like there's much going on. But you know, like we just talked about the future for Maya V2, there's a lot of potential. If you want to understand the potential, yes, check out Convex of Curve. Shout out to Blockmates, you guys should really check out their article here. And also the, the medium for the V2. I'll, I'll leave a link for both of these articles in, on this video. Please subscribe for more bullish uh, media content coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next one.